Hey what's up YouTube? Alright today we'll be looking at another video on J soup. Alright so today we'll be looking at how to retrieve information from a website, really text information using J soup. Alright, so first of all let's start a new project. I'm going to call mine mm, super text. and next and next and as usual we'll be starting from an empty activity so next and finish all right so it start to build out if you see my web a website in the background that's basically where we'll be pulling our text information from so i notice there's a lot of complicated information on the web on how to do this so I'm going to attempt to make this as simple short and effective as possible alright so we're right in our main activity so what you do is simply click on your rest folder click on your layout go to your activity main XML and what we'll be doing is just creating um, a place to store our our, our text that we retrie uh, retrieve from the website so delete this hello world I don't need that I don't even write that <laughs> and let's just throw in a large text right here so there we go large text and well, let's just size it up that it works perfectly alright we don't want it this big so let's just put a button in there as well so there's a button there and there it is okay so let's give our text an ID let's call it mm, I'm gonna call mine TX1 that's the ID for my text and let's just give this button uh, ID of but one so we have text one and bot one. Yeah, it's asking you if you should update update the XML. So tell, tell it yes. Now let's go over to our main activity. But before we go over to our main activity, let's add JSOUP. Alright, so go over to your build and edit libraries and dependencies. Alright then click that green button right over there in the dependency and click the M for Maven library dependency and let's just add just type in J S O U P and click that search icon uh, there it is JSOUP 1.91 it will say org that JSOUP colon JSOUP that 1.91 or something to that click OK all right and click OK it will rebuild your project so while it builds out our project we can start adding some stuff so let's make a reference to our text so let's call it let's make a text view and let's just call this text again I use 2x right there and that's pretty much it you can name it whatever you want and now this is where the tricky part comes in right before your last colon that should be a curly brace sorry right before your last curly brace let's put public we're gonna do our async task public class I'm gonna call mine do it extends async Oh, that's a realist. <laughs> Sorry. A sync. Uh, async task. And let's just pass it a parameter of void. Void. And one more void. And open curly brace. You should see a red line under this because we haven't implemented implemented the method as yet. As yet, so just simply click on that red button, that red 
sorry that red bulb that's what you guys call it <laughs> bulb and click implement methods and just add do a doing background method and there you go and it should return null all right so this is where our work comes in so what we're gonna do is let's make a JSUB connection so we're gonna say document and I'm gonna call mine doc equals j soup dot connect and you pass in a string which is the URL of whatever website you want to get and after that put get alright so I'm going to go to my website here not my actual website it's actually the Jamaica star and I'm gonna pass that in alrighty you should still see a red line and the reason why is because you need to write an exception so I'm gonna put a, put a general exception a, dry, a general ca try catch so let's say try and we're gonna close it right after that catch I'm doing it the hard way you can actually let um, Android Studio generate one for you but I'm writing mine exception E and if there's an exception we're gonna say E print stack trace just to tell us what's going wrong alrighty so now that we have that we ha we just go right back into this and right under document we're gonna say we're gonna create a string create a string outside this what but but right under async task we're gonna say string and let's just call this words and that's pretty much how that works let's go down here now and load all that text into this string so we're gonna say words or whatever you call yours equal doc dot and we're gonna get the text all the text from it so we're gonna say doc dot text and that should have all of it inside of it all right we're almost finished but we're not quite finished yet guys so let's go down here right under this uh, this would be the second the third to last um, curly brace right after return null we're gonna put in we're gonna put in a another method so just type in the P just press P on your keyboard and you're going to see a list of methods the one you're looking for is on post execute okay on post execute just click enter you should should override the method protected void post post execute and write on the super dot on post execute I hope I'm not sounding like I'm speaking Spanish just click that and write this this no okay before we write that let's go right back to our uncreate method and create a reference to our text and our button so outside right on the text view let's create a reference let's just call this all right we're not going to create a, a reference we don't need to create a reference outside here for a button so let's just do our text view so let's say text or uh, whatever you call it open braces text view find view by id r dot id dot and text one is the name of my text and let's put a button here so let's just call our button button but equals open braces button and we're going to do the same find view by uh, by id r dot id dot but one okay my button one doesn't want to come up but one okay still not coming up but one yeah there it is and pretty much so 
So basically, we have a reference to our text view and we have a reference to our button. So, okay, so let's make sure that and we're jumping right down to our post execute now. And we're going to say this is where the magic happens text dot set text words. And that is to make sure that whatever is in string words or in the string words is set in your text view. So you say text view that set text words. Alright, and we're jumping up again to our uncreate method. And right under our button, we're going to make sure that our button does something. So we're going to make an unclick. So we're going to say button but dot um, set unclick listener new and we should say you know on click just type capital O you'll see the method the first one that appears that says on click listener click enter there you go so when we click this button it will actually do something all right so the next thing we do now is we're gonna call our async task inside that button click so inside that button click we're gonna say we're gonna write the short way so we're gonna say new and my class for the async task was do it so it's do it open braces dot execute and pretty much that's it so let's now add our final component by going over to our android manifest click on it and let's add our internet permissions without your internet permission guys it won't work uses permission android permission dot internet um, android studio does a lot of that typing for you so you just basically choose it all right let's click and make sure that we're all set so what should happen is we have a blank text or uh, nothing really and when we click on our button it should execute this async task that basically pulls the text assigns it to a string which is words and then words now gets set as in the text view on the post execute and it's gonna do it all in one go all right so pretty much let's go and run this all right i already have my emulator up so let's see what happens all right so it's being built out takes a little while that's why i started my emulator from before that's why i don't have to wait a million years while it builds it out so gradle should be building out our our application so my laptop battery is almost dead but should be building out no takes off a little while but it does it eventually the good news about this new android studio 2.1 is you know exactly what's going on all the time all right so this should be our application I'm waiting for it uh, uh, uh. okay and there it is this is our text and when we press this button all things going well you should see the text from this website up here there you go and that's a text directly from the website so guys that is how you do use jsoup to pull text from a website and load it inside your android application um pretty much i hope that has been simple i hope it's not painful to learn i try to make it as simple as possible in my next video i will be doing how to pull images from a website using jsoup and so this web this video covered a lot so if you like please subscribe um thumbs up recommend it to a friend who is just learning android i try to make it as simple as possible as i always say if i cannot make it simple then i just won't do the video so that's it there's enough complicated videos on youtube you don't need to see anymore <laughs> you just need simple videos that do exactly what they say all right guys thanks for watching